Right, let's go back to Anita and a brand new one show presenter at Farnborough, the final frontier. Anita. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Alex. Let me introduce you to something very cool. This is the AR4 light ray. It's got a camera in it right there, and we've turned it into the one-show drone. It's been flying around for the first time in Farnborough by itself and getting footage to give you a, a sense of the Our first time in Farnborough was in 2012. We were the first company to ever fly a drone at this air show. Uh, it was our AR4. It was a very exciting time. It was very difficult to be able to get the authorizations to fly it here, but we were able to do it. Twelve years passed, we're in 2024, and this is what our presence looks like. And it shows a little bit of what we've been able to do in the last 12 years in this area. So we've grown tremendously in the UK. We opened up our office in 2013 in Southampton. We've now, last year, opened up our R&D and production facility in West Wales. So it's our second office in the UK. We're now more than 100 people, about 120 people here in the UK. And we are very, very happy to showcase here at our stand the first drone entirely produced here in the UK by us, which is our AR3. Throughout these years, we have a number of stories to tell. We presented our AR5, which is now surveying the channel every day. We presented it here a few years ago. And now today it's doing thousands of hours per year uh, everywhere in the world and particularly here in Britain pr protecting the British Channel. The AR3 was also showcased here for the first time and now we have dozens of planes flying throughout the entire world in multiple continents. These past 12 years have just been the beginning. We're just getting our engine started. The next 12 years will be super exciting and I can't wait to see what a camera will look like 12 years from now here at Farnborough.